Hello everybody, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 for what is a brand new Let's Play series on Castle now. Now that might sound a bit strange if you've been watching the previous six episodes of me prepping and building this whole farm from scratch, but this is technically the first episode in this brand new Let's Play series and I can't wait to get involved with this because I've got big equipment, decent equipment, a lot of fields to start off with and yeah, it's going to be it's going to be epic hopefully. Um, I've put so much time and effort as well into building this farm that I can't wait just to get started with it. But if you didn't watch them first six episodes and you're interested in building your own farm or like to see how, it's, how I've done it, then there is six episodes, like I said, there just for you guys to watch to see what it was. I mean, this was just a flat field. There was a multiple fields that I've built into. There was nothing. And I've ended up building what I think is a proper good farm to for a Let's Play series. So before we actually get hands on, which is what I want to do, I really want to get, get into this. My money isn't right at the moment because I said in that episode, last episode that I was prepping for, that I'm going to bring the money down, but I am. It's just I have, I've got a few things I want to sort out first. I need to sell a tractor and just want to show off a few things and give a, a shout out as well because, because you guys have helped me so much whilst I've been building this. I've had so many suggestions, so much inspiration. I mean, if you've watched, I think it was like the second episode I was going on about that build that Bonfluff did with the, the kind of elevation and the different yeah, it was like it was if you haven't watched that episode I do recommend it because I show off a farm a picture from a farm that's pretty impressive to say the least and we tried to take some inspiration from that and I think we did a, a decent enough job uh, but yeah there's so many so many people that have shared their farm builds in the discord just want to thank everyone for that because I took a hell of a lot of inspiration but most recently as well, I just want to thank everyone that's helped me out with the equipment. I have made a few changes because in that last prep episode where I was putting in equipment, yeah, since then I've decided that I didn't go enough, I think, for the actual area that I'm in. So this is like France. I needed to change some things out. So we've done that. Um, so I'll, I'll show you quickly as well the changes. But I also want to give a big shout out to Dobber Tier. Dobber Tier. I hope I'm saying that right. I think I am. It's Dobber Tier. He reached out to me in Discord, helped me out with a few things that I wanted to sort out, and he also shared some pretty unbelievable stuff, to be honest. So, yeah, massive shout out to you. You know who you are. I really do appreciate you reaching out, and you definitely deserve this uh, thank you in the video, because I'm going to show off one of the tractors you told me to get, because I think it's probably one of the best tractors I've ever seen. So, you've got a good eye for it, mate. I'll tell you that now. Right, so let's first get through the change in equipment. Um, I went with this pickup because I know that's more of a French style make. So we've gone with this, got rid of the class one, I think I had. Went with a rolling trailer as well. So we got rid of the other trailer for that. I also purchased a tanker because I thought, well, we do need to kind of transfer slurry to the manure basin. And I think I'm going to go back to the original way of selling milk as well. So when we get the milkers in, because we haven't got any animals at the moment, just because we haven't got any feed for them. But when we get the milkers in, we can sell our milk directly maybe build it up a bit um yeah so that's that um this the tractor don't worry in a minute i'm going to show that off because that's just insane it's just insane small things like the small thing on that tractor which i show off in a second i just want to emphasize how much a difference small touches make to realism it's crazy right so let's just run up the hill where the pigs are and we got all our planting equipment and field work equipment mainly changed out one thing is we had a, I got the big, I can't remember the name of the mate now, it's going to annoy me, but this is the standard base game, kind of like Lime Spreader. We had that one we're going to use for with it. Now, I know that uh, this make, which is the Amazon one, it's quite common to use in the France from what I understand from people's comments. So I've gone with that, but I've got rid of the big one because the Muck Spreader I've swapped out for something that's obviously pretty good for the area. So kind of like realistic to this area but also it holds lime so that's really useful because we can clean it out and then yeah use a bit of lime so it's kind of like a two-in-one I uh, kept the pottinger stuff over there but I did swap out the pottinger tether for uh, for this one now I'm not going to try to pronounce that name because I've done it a few times and I've butchered it I mean you can all try and have a laugh at me by all means but I think it's something like Lely <laughs> I'm probably saying that so wrong I mean, yeah, like Lally? I don't bloody know. It's Summit. You guys know what it is. I don't. Um, over on this section, we have got 
Oh, kind of like bale trailers is the one thing I didn't pick up. So I went with a Roland one for kind of square bales. Auto load on that one as well, just in case we need to use it. Uh, went with this because I'm loving this in the contract series at the moment. So I've just decided to get something that, you know, it's just kind of like a win moment for me. And this was a win moment. I thought, do you know what? That makes my life so much easier. So I'm going to get this. And I've also got the Silo King sorted out. So that's Space Plus compatible now. But I've had to go with the one um, without the, uh, the Silos in the back, which is fine. But it means, you know, we can start straight away making Maze Plus mixes. Uh, so that's pretty much all that sorted out. We'll just go quickly have a look at the, the Muck Spreader. And then I think I can show off the Deutz far, and then we're pretty much set to go. Pretty much, because the rest of it... I, mean, I don't know why I've got a water tank just sitting there that were randomly spawned to. I'm not complaining, like, but, you know. So I went with the, the Parade. I think it's Parade. Um, it's a muck spreader, pretty much. Said, does what it says on the tin kind of thing. Bigger capacity, but also I can put lime in it, which is really useful. So that's down by... This is our beef stock area. So I probably should show you like what I've got because if you've not watched the episodes before of me prepping, yeah, you're not really going to know. So let's just jump up in the air and I'll talk through dead quick what we've got going on. So over here, this is beef stock area. That shed is going to be for beef stock. We've got some igloos at the back for the beef stock calves. Um, big field that kind of connects round the back there. We're going to plant alfalfa in. We've got a field here of sorghum. We've got over there a big field of potatoes, also another field of potatoes there that are ready to go. So that's pretty much something we're going to be doing in the first couple of episodes. I've got another field there, another field there. Um, it's just these two here that I haven't got. So that one and that one. Um, I have got this. So I think I've got a mixture of barley, canola and soybeans growing in that. So we've got a lot of fields to, to, to crack on with, especially this potato field. I'm probably not going to do potatoes again. It's just that's what I've started with, but... We're going to have to lease out equipment for that. Um, grass field here as well that I own. So this big one here with the trees in the middle. I actually own that. So got plenty of work to get on with because that's ready to mow. But I've looked at the calendar and there's a few things first that we need to do. Um, but let me finish off showing you the farm itself. So this shed here is our milking shed. So this is going to be for like Holstein. We've got again some igloos around the side. For the calves. I've got a kind of like a fattening shed or a middle ground shed so we can transfer like holstein there that are like maybe heifers maybe an overflow for calves anything really it doesn't matter got a big slurry basin for overflow so we can kind of transfer it over there which is good three bunkers that's our silo storage shed for hay we've got a hay dryer over there so that might be storage storage shed for straw probably um, a big area over here which is where i've got like my grass equipment up the top um, kind of like a track that goes out to the road so we can get that way. Big pig barn over here with a, an add-on that's got a piglet section. Now, these, this sec this building here, this building and that building is an MA7 shed. Or they, they are MA7 sheds, the same people that make this map. Now, they are tied to me, so I can't actually share this save game. So I have had a few questions whilst I was building it, kind of share the save game. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do it. I could share the save game, but these three buildings would be disappeared. So you'd have to place something in yourself. If you guys are happy with that, then by all means, I will share this save game. But there might be a lot of mods required because I've done so much when it comes to the painting textures, all that kind of stuff. I'd ha It'd take me a long time to try and find all the links, what mods are required because I've just got a load of mods activated. So it would take me quite some time. So if you do say you're happy to do that, knowing that three sheds would disappear... Um, then I will do it, but it will take me some time, so it won't be straight away to, to get all that information together. But I am happy to share it as long as you guys are also aware that I can't share these MA7 sheds. Um, that's pretty much the only thing that's the problem with it. And also then the mods that I've used. <laughs> I've used that many mods, I've, I've lost track. Um, this is our main yard at the front. Got an equipment shed, the tractors in there, trailers over there, main house... And again, over here, we've got a workshop built into like a shed. And that's pretty much the gist of this farm. It's a big farm, big farm, definitely. And what I went with was like I wanted something that had different elevations. So we've got a section there that's so a higher up, then another higher up, further down over here. And then this is all technically on a slant because you can tell that that shed is higher up to that shed. And the reason I did that is because just look around. Look around. It's a beautiful map, hilly terrain. It's, it deserved to be something better than just a flat surface. And the, the thing that took the longest 
it wasn't actually all that setting up it was the texture painting so the amount of textures i painted in by hand which you can see in the episodes i've done some time lapse of me doing it it's just yeah it just takes so long but you can see the finer details with text like the painting i've done of this runoff here coming down collecting water and stuff just because you know it's a used farm it's at the end of the day it's a used farm there's going to be sections there just looking a bit bumpy and battered uh, and you can tell from here like you can see that it's kind of like weared down in the center so trying to make it look a bit like that. i also did this recently so after i put a load of like stones and cobbles and this going out because i thought you know most tracks aren't flat are they you get a lot of stones and i thought why don't we make a really bumpy track but not too much that it's a nightmare to drive over just something that you would feel with the tires and that's what we've done here right so that's the overview of the farm like i said if you've watched the first six episodes of the farm build then you'll know straight away that that uh how i built it and all that stuff and you've seen me get the equipment um so we're pretty much at the set point now where everyone should be up to date we can get started but before we do that we're going to talk about these Deutsche Fahr tractors over here so this was shared to me by Dobertier. Um, I'll put a link in the video description of where to find these. It's a German site, modding site, and they basically get base game tractors and up, update the physics and also add a lot to it. So interactive control, that kind of good stuff, but uh, there's a lot going on. It's a lot, but the physics are insane to this. And there's one thing that stands out the most. So I'm going to show you that now. Um, and we're going to sell that other tractor and set our money anyway. So that's the base game tractor. This is the, the kind of base one that I've got. I think this is actually a modded version of the base game tractor. But still, it's the physics are the same. So if we turn the engine on, there's no interactive control in here at all. So I'm trying that out. But what I actually want to do is I'm just going to drive until I hit 5 miles an hour. And then I'm going to let off. Dead simple, right? Now I'm using the mod reduced engine braking force, um, so this is actually even better than what it is base game. Like the the, the the way the tractors work in base game is if you let off the accelerator, it just it's like you put the brake on, which is not obviously realistic. So you can see from that that's how far that tractor travelled. Now I'm going to do it in this one. Now there's so many things we'll get into. In fact, let's do it now. Let's just do the interactive control now because it's incredible, incredible. So we've got here, if we jump down, obviously we can start messing about with that. We can lift up the bonnet. Nice sound effects on that. We've even got these like, I think they're like reflectors and you can decide if you want them on the inside or off. So these, like both of these, or you can put them on the outside of it or the inside. I've kept them on the inside. We've got tire pressures as well that can be adjusted. Um, just trying to think. I know you can move the beacons if you want to do that. The toolbox as well. That you have an option to purchase as an add-on. Get the toolbox. But then obviously the main thing is getting in the tractor. So I'm inside the tractor now. I'm gonna enable the interactive control. So you can obviously shut this door. There we go. We've got like a handheld, I think that's just decoration of some sort. Um Obviously, passenger seat. Lift the armrest. So, once you put that back down, indicator, we can actually turn on like inside the cab. So, we'll have to leave that on until I start it. Lift the steering wheel. I mean, it's just incredible. This is. Uh, we can open the door. Well, it's not, it's like a door, but it's, it's just like getting a bit of breeze in window. We can change where the acceleration happens from. So, do we want to use the handheld, handheld one? Or do we want to go down to the foot brake? So if we change that, we're now on foot brake and we can change back. I think it's on foot brake now. That's it. Um, we've got this one, which I actually don't know what it's doing. What does that say? Yeah, so that's changed to travel lever. So we're already at the, the right one. This is turn back seat. Not sure. Not sure what that is. I know the indicator is on, but we'll sort that out. This is uh, to change the seat at the back, so we can just put it down, or we can put it back up again. Um, and if we have a look at this, we can turn our daylights on. And with these are all light controls. We can even open the roof as well, which is nice. <laughs> 
And we can turn the radio on, but I'm not going to do that because I don't know if the music's copyrighted or not. But anyway, you, you get the gist, and obviously there's just loads going on. So what we can do now is first we can turn the indicator off. Uh, we don't need interactive control anymore. And then what we're going to do is the same thing, five miles an hour. we're just gonna coast now this is realistic like you can see the distance the extra distance just been traveled from the physics on this tractor like I can just go up to like let's say I go up to 10 miles an hour or around that and just let off my accelerator and we're just coasting at this point you know the, the wheels are set up to to kind of roll and this happens in reverse and forward so it just feels so much more real like you don't realize it until you're using it how much that makes a difference when there's no kind of like brake force from the transmission i guess it is and we've got a daylights on which we turned on as well I, I absolutely love this tractor and it's about the same so it's about 286 horsepower this is i think that one was about that same so we're going to sell that version we're going to keep this but I just wanted to point this out and show you that there's a load of these there's a load and if I just bring up the mod menu for tractors you can see that it's the SDF pack now you have to get the it's like the main mod pack um, and then from that you can get different tiers to the tractors so there's the Deutz Var, there's the same Lamborghini Hurleyman and there is the physics have all been done but also on that website there is physics adjustments for different tractors so there's like a uh, fiat agri they've put the physics on that so yeah just check it out because i didn't even know about this and then when i saw it i was like that is impressive and i think obviously must needed for the series right so let's get rid of this one because we're not going to need it anymore 287 we'll sell that because we didn't need that extra tractor and that's the one we've got right now only one horsepower less, which is great. So let's put this just back in its spot and we'll go and figure out what we're actually going to be doing. Need to put that weight on it as well because that was what was on the uh, the other the other Deutz far. So yeah, we'll sort that out. So we've got loads of work to get into. It's kind of like, where do we even start? We've got the grass field that needs mowing. We've got the big field at the back that's going to be alfalfa. We've got the sorghum in front of us that needs harvesting. We've got two big potato fields. But I think because I've kind of waffled on a bit in this episode um, and talked through and gave everyone a bit of an over, overview of what's gone on um, and a tiny little montage at the start because I thought, you know what, I want to showcase what I've built. I think... Looking at the calendar, we've got two main options that need doing in before the end of September. And we are running three days. So, yeah, we've got three days, normal normal difficulty. Um, yeah, so I think we've got one more day after this one in the in the uh, the month. And sorghum needs harvesting before the end of it. And I think as well, potatoes does. So we're going to have to get busy in this episode to finish one of these jobs and then the next episode i think it's going to be a big potato harvest so yeah we're going to get the sorghum done we're going to need the harvester so if we jump over to it'll definitely be somewhere there we go i'm gonna to have to go get set up with that probably made my life really difficult by parking that close with it being the rear wheel turning yeah, let's get out to the field. We can take the route down here. And we're going to just pretty much need a, a trailer. And I believe we'll be able to do a bit of straw as well. So let's get this done. Don't know if I'm going to fit the harvester behind down that section there. I don't think we are. We're not going to take the rest. We're going to go through the gates. option oh man it's, I'm just glad to be actually farming now 
proper been waiting to do this for a while it's, it feels like because obviously building it and filming it recording it and editing it obviously my videos as well just made it last a bit longer than what it would normally do if i was just setting up to go but yeah here we go right so i think we're probably best to part this about here aren't we and then that way we've pretty much got enough space and we shouldn't do any crop damage now these harvests aren't going to be good we are using precision farming and all that um, and I've mentioned about Maze Plus, but yeah, I don't expect that these are actually going to be, you know, good harvest because of the fact that this is how these fields started. Oh yeah, I didn't want to come off there, did it? Yeah, these are how this field started um, when I booted into the game for the first time, so... All that precision farming work that needs doing. Don't even know about fertilising. That bloody thing's just a nightmare. There you go. You stay there. Stay there. Right, so. We're going to need to be dropping straw. And I think it should drop now. For, yeah, that looks like it's going to be dropping straw. So let's go and get... Um, just trying to think. Should we use the truck directly? Are we going to keep the sorghum? Yeah, let's use this truck. We may as well. That's what I got it for. I mean, if we got like a bit of a an auger at some point, maybe that might be a good idea. Then we can use this as the main truck. But I actually think my trailers are actually bigger than that. I think the capacity probably needs up in a little bit on that, just so it reflects well. All right, well let's get. Oh no! First off, I need to put the PTOs in. Too keen. I'm too keen to get started. There we go. Now it should work. I'm hoping we get straw. It's a bit of a weird one to get straw on. I know the base game version doesn't do it, but because it sits too far into the crop that's left, but I think it can be done. I think it's uh yeah, something it can be done, so <laughs> you can see there's a lot of weeds in this as well. So that's not ideal. But I'm going to do all this manually. Like, I'm going to do all the harvest myself. And I'm going to do the baling as well at the end. Because I've just wanted to start farming on this map for so long that I'm just glad to be doing it. So I kind of... I don't want to get the workers on this one. This first job on the farm is mine. It's definitely mine to do. Might have to do a bit of a time-lapse. Probably. Um, of me getting through it, but yeah, we'll see how we get on for time. It's not the biggest field.
Right, so there we go. I actually really enjoyed that. Small job, not bad for his first job on the farm. Uh, I've set the course play going now to do the mulching in this field because it definitely needs mulching, um, especially with it being sorghum. But we've taken the bales out. I've got them all down there. There's only five, and we've only had really a modest amount of grain, to be honest. Just under a full full load, so what, 10,000 litres? So I think we should probably go and store this. Um... Just trying to think. Yeah, we'll go store this because you never know. We might need this for when we're doing for when we're uh, feed, feeding the pigs. And this might come in handy for that. I'll try and get through there because I kind of blocked the way with the three tractors. Well, two tractors and a bloody harvester. So <laughs> at least we can get through here. It is borderline with the the harvester, but it just about does everything else. Let's go dump this into the silo, and I think then that's a really good point to end on. We're going to have to... The next episode is going to be a super busy one. My God, we're going to be busy. Potato harvest, not one field, but two. My God, we'll have to try and lease out the best equipment. I need to sort the money out. That's the one thing I haven't done. I'm going to give myself about 250000 I think that's a good starting point. Let's tip that in. There we go. I might just leave the truck here for a sec. Might as well park it up. It's not like we're going to use it for anything else. Yeah, let's jump back over to here and uh, take a bit of a recap and sort this money out. I mean, look at that for a view, though. Look at that. Can't complain at that at all. Really can't. So, we got three million. We definitely don't need that. So, let's just set our money to 250 thousand there we go two four nine 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 because i think we're using the course play so it's obviously using money for that course play uh, and there you go john deere goes past <laughs> couldn't have timed it better but i think that's a perfect point to end the episode on i mean i've really enjoyed that first episode bit of a recap at the start and uh, we've got a field done next episode we're going to be tackling the two big potato harvests which are big fields so we're going to tr probably get the best equipment we can and uh, mint through that i do want to store some of the potatoes but it's the one thing i've overlooked i don't know where we're going to store them we might need to figure out some kind of root crop thing but we have got 250k so if we need to find a spot and put something for root crop we can just for storage um i don't know what else to do we de we can sell some but i definitely know pigs the cows we're going to use that for feed definitely so and the one thing we're lacking in right now is animals anyway because we haven't got the feed. So we've we've got a bit of sorghum now, which will help the pigs out. We've got potatoes, which will obviously help the cows out. Um, if we just have a quick look, cows, um, sugar beets, potatoes. So on that one, potatoes and potato cut as well. Let's have a quick look at the pigs. 
So definitely sorghum, I'm sure of it. Yeah, so we've got sorghum there as an energy food. So that's pretty good. And if we look at the mixtures for pigs, we got sorghum again and potatoes. And then I did put potatoes in myself into the... Uh, where's the dairy? So that's the realistic one. Beef cattle, young stock dairy. So the dairy, yeah, we've got potatoes as well. So we may as well keep as many as we can store for that. And what better time? We've got two massive fields. So yeah, the next episode is going to be a busy one. Um, I might even get cosplay in the background planted in the alfalfa or something, or even mowing. Um, or I might save that, I don't know. There's loads to do anyway. <laughs> Definitely loads to do. But on that note, I am going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it every time. Hopefully you're finding this series enjoyable. If you are, give the video a thumbs up because that does help me out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.